In this video, we're going to talk about how to assign resources to your activities in Simulate. In my example simulation here, I have a single activity. I have a very basic process here. And if I run the simulation, then the activity will process work items at the rate um, at which it's told, which in this case is a default of 10 minutes. However, some simulations require the use of resources, and resources can be anything from people and operators to vehicles to tools, um, and so you want to be able to capture these within your simulation. Now, there are a few ways to allocate a resource to an activity and simulate, but the first thing we'll want to do is drop a resource onto the simulation. And now that we have it here, we have a few options and we want to allocate it to activity one here. So one thing that we can do is, is select this edit routing arrows mode and then we can click and drag from the resource to the activity. Likewise, if we deselect that, we can also, as a shortcut, we can hold down the shift key on our keyboards and click and drag from the resource to the activity. In this case, it will delete it because we've already had it allocated. Um, and finally, what we can do is we can go to the activity itself and on our properties tab, we'll want to go to the resources option and here we'll choose to add a resource, and in this case we only have resource one. So what that means now is we've allocated that resource, so when you run the simulation you'll see that for every work item that the activity needs to process, a resource must be present in order to complete the work. Now, if you have a much larger simulation and you need to see where all of your resources are allocated, there's a few different ways to do this. First, you can click and hold on any of your resources on screen and it will highlight the corresponding activities with a pink circle. Or additionally, if you go to the data and rules tab on your ribbon, um, we can go to our resource matrix and that will show you the locations at which your resources are allocated and how many of those resources are allocated there. So in the next few videos we are going to talk more about getting into more details with your resources such as having more resources um, and having different rules. So please be sure to check those out. Um, in the meantime, we hope that, that this has demonstrated how to allocate resources to activities should you need to model those in your simulations.